Dear students, in this video, we will discuss maximum likelihood estimate with help of an example. So, as we discussed before in last lecture that the, the purpose of maximum likelihood estimate or MLE is to choose or estimate a theta which maximizes the probability of observing x vector for that particular theta and we will say that this is the best estimate that's why we have donated it by by theta cap that is for whatever value of theta this probability of x vector given theta is maximized we say that that is the maximum likelihood estimate of the parameter of the distribution so we also write this as argmax of theta given likelihood which is function of theta now for mathematical convenience rather than directly with dealing with probability of x vector given theta vector we will deal with logarithm of likelihood function or we say that this would be ln of l of theta because logarithm in this case offers greater mathematical convenience so let us try to understand this with help of an example that what is the mathematical convenience that it is that is offered let us say that our x vector consists of x1 x2 x3 and xn and we assume that x1 x2 x3 these are iids and of course we know that iids are independent and identically distributed now if we have to write l theta which is equal to probability of x vector given theta vector we can write this as product from i from 1 to n probability of xi given theta vector now if we take log on both sides this would become log of l theta is equal to and this product would con convert to summation of logarithm and so all of these bases are e for, for in our case so we can use log of e and ln interchangeably ln of p of xi given theta vector now if you are wondering how we jump from a multiplication notation to summation notation all you have to remember is that if you have log of a b it can be written as log of a plus log of b and in this case we are dealing with log of probability of x1 given theta multiplied by probability of x2 given theta probability of xn given theta and hence we can write this as ln probability x1 given theta plus ln probability x2 given theta plus ln probability of xn given theta and so on hence product is transformed to summation which is easier to deal with moreover we would be dealing with normal distribution quite frequently and if you remember normal distribution takes a form of f of x given theta as a as a as a function of exponent of x minus mu square upon 2 sigma square hence when we take log on both sides again we would be dealing with much simpler mathematics rather than dealing with exponents and this would become clear when we go to an example of application of maximum likelihood estimate to normal distribution so in next sections we will look into two simple examples one from discrete distribution where we would be essentially dealing with probability mass functions and another would be continuous distributions where we would take the example of normal distribution and in case of discrete distribution we are going to deal with the Bernoulli's distribution.
Now, what this Bernoulli distribution is, let us try to understand with help of an example. So, in probability and statistics, Bernoulli distribution is the discrete probability distribution of random variables which take the value of 1 or 0 with probability p and 1 minus p respectively. So, if you try to see a coin toss example, we can say that if getting heads is equivalent to 1, the p would be 1 by 2 and if getting tails is equivalent to 0, then 1 minus p would be 1 by 2 and in this case, p is the only parameter that we have to deal with and p is also called as the parameter of Bernoulli distribution. Now, if we observe multiple outcomes of a Bernoulli trial, so x1, x2, x3 upon xn and xi can take the value of only 0 or 1. So, it's a binary variable which can only take 0 if outcome is not in favor, 1 if his outcome is in favor. So, let us say that in this case, xi is equal to 0 if there is non-zero, uh, if there is zero precipitation, zero precipitation. Since we would be dealing with lot of atmospheric variables, I am using a specific example of precipitation to motivate the case. On the other hand, x1 equal to 1, if there is non-zero precipitation in a given city. So these are our outcomes and we make n such observations over n consecutive days and p is the probability associated with state equal to 1 and 1 minus p is the probability that is associated with state when there is no precipitation. And if we have to write the probability mass function because we are talking about discrete distribution we will say that probab p f of p of x would be equal to p raised to power x upon 1 minus p 1 minus x that is if small x takes the value of 0 this can be written as p of 0 1 minus p 1 minus 0 and this simply would be 1 minus p and that should be the case that is probability of having a zero precipitation day is equal to 1 minus p and that is what we ascertained here. Similarly, f of x equal to 1 should be equal to p. Now, let us go to the vector notation. If we are interested in determining the joint distribution of f of x1 to equal to certain value x2, x3 up upon x up to xn, we can write this as under the assumption of IID as product from 1 to n p of xi 1 minus p x 1 minus raised to power 1 minus xi. Now this is what we are trying to maximize. So our interest is to maximize f of x vector given theta and in this case our theta is equal to p and we want to determine that after observing n samples what is the probability of having a day with non-zero precipitation and when we take when we write this in, in a l theta form we can say that this is equivalent to again some product from 1 to n p of x i 1 minus p 1 minus x i and now what we will do we will take log on both sides so ln of l theta would be equal to summation i from 1 to n log of p x i 1 minus p 1 minus x i and if we simplify that so we will take this log inside and we will say that this is, is equal to summation i equal to 1 to n x i log of p 
पी प्लस वन माइनस एक्स आई लॉग ऑफ वन माइनस पी एंड फॉर अगेन टू सिंपली एंड दिस समेशन नोटेशन वुड बी एट बोथ प्लेसेस दैट इज वी विल हैव समेशन हियर आल्सो समेशन आई फ्रॉम वन टू एन नाउ फॉर सेक ऑफ सिंप्लिसिटी लेट अस से दैट समेशन आई फ्रॉम वन टू एन एक्स आई कैन बी substituted as 1 because that would simplify some of the notation here we can say that log of likelihood of theta and here theta is equal to p is equal to y log of p plus 1 minus y log of uh, this would be n this would be equal to n because we are taking summation n times 1 minus y log of 1 minus p now for this to be to maximize this we will say that this is this has to be equal to l of l theta its differentiation with respect to each theta theta whatever constitutes theta vector should be equal to 0 however in this case theta is only single parameter so we will differentiate this with respect to p and equate to 0 and when you do that you will see that the best estimate of p p or p hat is equal to y upon n where y is equal to summation i from 1 to n x i upon n and this is the best estimate of parameter of bernoulli distribution now if you see that this stuff is really simple so let us say that we observed state of the atmosphere for 5 days and we said that on day 1 there was a precipitation on another day there was no precipitation then there was a precipitation then there was precipitation again and on third day there is no precipitation now if somebody gives you this x vector and then they ask you that can you tell me based on this particular data set what is the probability of receiving a rainfall on any given day so simply you would say that from naive definition of probability that probability of getting a rainfall is equal to number of favorable outcomes which is 3 in this case divided by total number of outcomes and that should be the well the best estimate of p hat that you can draw from the intuition that it should be number sum of this particular vector which is 3 in this case as it only constitutes of 1 and 0 divided by 5 which is equal to n or total sample size that you have now if you go back isn't it the same thing that we have derived that this is indeed the best estimate of of p hat now the cases with bernoulli's distribution are simple to visualize however we would use the same methodology for more complex distributions like normal distribution gamma distribution and even extreme value theory to come up with the best estimates of non intuitive parameters which will form subject of our discussion in next 